Having a pet can really change your life for the better. You get a little child, friend, and companion for life all in one being. And for a lot of people, cats are the go-to pet. However, having a cat isn't as simple as it may seem. From getting the wrong kitten and making assumptions to following ancient myths, here are 15 terrible mistakes cat owners make without even realizing it. Number 15, thinking cats are low maintenance. There's a common belief that cats are the low maintenance pet. And while that is true to some extent, they are not as low maintenance as people think. Cats need a lot of attention, love, and taking care of. And since they're silent and fast, they can actually get into a lot of trouble. Fostering a cat or being around people that have pet cats of their own may be a great way to feel things out before you get one of your own. That way, you know if you have enough time and patience to deal with one. Number 14, bringing in super tiny kittens. Let's face it, nothing's cuter than a tiny wobbly kitten. They want nothing but to play around, have fun, explore, and watching them grow up can be all the entertainment you'd need for months. But if the kittens are super small and wobbly, they aren't at the right age to be adopted. Kittens need their mothers for at least the first five weeks of their lives. A kitten younger than that will be very cute, sure, and it might survive too, but it's going to be quite a challenge. Wait five weeks, let the kittens understand how to eat, walk, develop some feline instincts, and most important one, go to the bathroom. Otherwise, you're going to have to do all of that for them. Number 13, letting cats introduce themselves. While it's totally fine to let people introduce themselves and even most dogs, cats pretty much despise other cats. They're simply not pack animals. If you're bringing a new cat in a home that already has one, make sure you introduce them the right way. Keep them in separate rooms and let them sniff each other out from under the door. Move to a mesh door and once they get used to each other's scent, introduce them in person under supervision. It's the only way to ensure that neither of the cats get hurt. Number 12, thinking all cats are the same. If your friend has a cute cat that always wants to hug and cuddle and seeing that really makes you want to get one too, remember that there's a chance you'll end up with a jerk cat. That's simply because just like people, all cats are different too. And most cats are pretty angry beings. However, once you gain their trust, they start seeing you as family. They'll warm up to you in every way. However, some cats still won't like being too touchy-feely. Remember that all cats are different and don't try to force traits of other cats onto yours. Number 11, assuming their furniture won't be destroyed. If you've got a cat, mixing the feline with your nice furniture is a pretty terrible mistake, both for your furniture and your cat. Cats have a natural need to sharpen their nails, and they'll do it with anything they want. Most of the time, what they want is the side of your really nice sofa. So keep the expensive furniture away from your cat and trim their nails and provide scratching posts to keep their paws healthy. Number 10, not getting the right litter. Since cats have a natural instinct to bury their poop, people think that just getting any litter is totally fine. While most litters do get the job done, that's not going to be the best in the long run. Getting good quality litter like dust-free bentonite clay litter will not only keep your house from stinking up, but it'll also be better for your cat too. Nothing will stick to its paws, no dust will harm its lungs, and it'll be easy to scoop too. Number nine, bathing them. Since most people are familiar with the way dogs function, they think that if you have a cat, you're going to have to groom them the same way dogs need to be groomed. This is often translated into bathing them all the time. In reality, cats don't really need to be bathed that often. They're very good at grooming themselves. That's why they have that rough tongue. It's kind of like their own brush. Unless you feel your cat is unreasonably dirty or stinky, you can just let it be. No frequent baths are needed. Number eight, not being patient with them. Just because cats don't really bark at you like dogs do, it doesn't mean they're not going to be annoying on some days. Since they can't speak in our language, they try to get through to us in different ways. And most of the time, those ways are annoying as hell. Your cat might start peeing outside the sandbox. 
clawing at things or even scratch and bite you. If their behavior gets particularly annoying, instead of losing your calm, it might be a better idea to be patient and try to figure out why they're being annoying. Number seven, trying to discipline them. Kids can be disciplined, dogs can be disciplined too, but cats are a whole other type of animal. If they do something you didn't approve of, don't try to discipline them by punishing them or yelling at them. If you do, all you're going to get in return is a cat that's either sad or angry, and in that state, they might start doing what you didn't want them to do even more. Try to find the root cause of your cat's misbehavior. Fixing what's bothering them will help fix what's bothering you. Number six, not taking them to the vet on time. Cats heal pretty fast, even if they have something major wrong with them. That's why the saying, cats have nine lives, exists. While that is true, it doesn't mean that they don't need medical attention from time to time. If there's something going on with your cat, it's injured or acting different. Instead of trying to figure out what's going on on your own, rush them to the vet. A lot of time, cats are dealing with something on the inside silently, and we won't even notice it until it's too late. A vet visit on time can save your cat's life before you even knew it was even in danger. Number five, not getting enough litter trays. If you're a multi-cat owner, you might be making a crucial mistake, not getting enough litter trays. The general rule of thumb is that you should have one extra tray in the house. If there are three cats, get four trays. That way, if any of your cats don't feel like going to the litter box, they'll have a totally clean one to go to. And make sure all the litter boxes are scooped daily, or you'll probably step in some random piles of poop at any given moment. Number four, getting the wrong food. A lot of people just buy the cheapest and easily available cat food they can get their hands on. While that's a convenient option, it's not the best one for your cat. Most cheap cat food brands are filled with fillers or grains which don't do anything for them in terms of nutrition. Sure, your cat will be full, but it won't be healthy. When you're picking out cat food, make sure that the first ingredient on the list is protein, and that's the most important ingredient your cat needs to stay healthy. Number three, not spaying or neutering them. Many people think that since their cats are staying indoors, spaying or neutering them isn't really necessary. But all it takes is your cat getting out one time and you're dealing with eight new kittens in two months. Unspayed female cats are also at high risk for developing pyometra, which is a pretty insane infection in the uterus. While unneutered males are at high risk for developing testicular cancer, which is one of the leading causes for early deaths in cats. Overall, it's a lot better for your cat and the cat population in general for all cats to be spayed and neutered before they go into their first heat cycle. Number two, declawing them. Cats scratching you, other cats, or the furniture in your home simply sucks. But if you think the best solution for this problem is to declaw your cat altogether, you're making a terrible mistake. Declawing a cat is like taking away the first little section of your fingers. It's debilitating and unnecessary and in a lot of states illegal too now. A better alternative is to trim and file their nails regularly. That way, there are no sharp nails to deal with, and your cat doesn't suffer because of a life-altering surgery. Number one, giving them milk. Movies and pop culture in general have put forth this idea that the ideal meal for cats is milk, or they need to have milk in their diet, when the reality is the opposite. While cats like having milk, most of the time are severely lactose intolerant. Having milk can make them very sick. What cats really need is water. Just making sure your cat always has access to water and all of its hydration needs will be filled. All right, comment below. Were you making any of these mistakes? Do you have any more to add to our list? Before you leave, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.